Lung Cancer Treatment, Cisplatin plus Pemetrexid. In lung cancer, the non-small cell lung cancer composes 85% of all the cases. Smoking is the most leading risk factor, and smokes contain many chemicals which lead to DNA damage, thus leading to lung cancer. The other causes are radon, secondhand smoke, and exposure to air pollution. Cisplatin IV is one of the combination. It is chemo that treats a lot of solid cancers and has been licensed since 1979 and it is on the WHO list. It treats lung cancer, testicular cancer, ovarian cancer, breast cancer, head and neck, bladder, cervical, and brain tumor cancers. It is used as an IV form and has a short-term infusion in the Ormerson line. Its side effects are kidney damage, nerve damage, nausea and vomiting, hearing loss, and electrolyte disturbances. Cisplatin is very high vomiting risk chemotherapy, which in other words, the emetogenic risk is high. Also, when using with other drugs, you should monitor carefully, especially the other drugs that has your nephrotoxicity, which is NSAID, and the autotoxicity, the NSAID and aminoglycoside, your toxicity, such as vincristine and paclitaxel, and myelosuppression, which is paclitaxel. Also, when cisplatin is used with anti seizure drugs such as carbamazepine, phenytoin, or valparate, cisplatin may decrease the anti seizure drug level. So, the second drug is uh, IV pemetrexate, which is one of the other D drug combination. It is an antifolate. It is chemically similar to folic acid and it is member of folate antimetabolites. It is the first line treatment for lung cancer, NSCLC, used with cisplatin. Yeah. In 2004, the FDA approved this to treat mesothelium tumor, and in 2008, FDA approved it to treat NSCLC lung cancer. So, pemetrexate inhibits enzymes such as THFR, the dehydrofolate reductase which prevents DNA and RNA formation, just cancer cells plus normal cells cannot grow. So it doesn't make the cancer cells grow, but at the same time, the normal cells cannot grow too, so this can be the side effect. Also, note about the pemetrexid induced rash. This is why we need dexamethasone, 8 mg oral or IV, to treat the, to prevent the pemetrexid induced rash. So pemetrexid side effects, also, do not use with the uh, drugs below, that is NSAID, the nephrotoxic drug, or drugs secreted by the renal tubule, because this can increase the pemetrexate toxicity, also the myelosuppression, renal, and GI toxicity. So, the combination has side effects of mouse pain and soreness, which is mucositis. The patients might have mild ulcers, white patch on the tongue, pain in the mouth or throat, difficulty eating or swallowing, and bleeding gums. So we give the pharmacist, give the non-pharma counsel to avoid hot and spicy acid food and drinks, try soft foods, brush the teeth gently with a soft toothbrush, rinse the mouth after the meal, and tell the doctor if this is serious. Let's check out the schedule for this drug. So cisplatin and pemetrexid, the each cycle is 21 days, and there are four cycles, so which is 84 days for total. So per cycle on day one, we infuse this cisplatin plus pemetrexate on day one. So yep, each cycle is 21 days, use cisplatin and pemetrexate in first day, then wait for three weeks, then repeat up to four cycles. So total is 12 weeks. Also use desamectasone on day before the day, the next day, the day three, day four of the chemotherapy. So the day chemotherapy is the day that we infuse the cisplatin and pemetrexate. So how to calculate the dose? So this is how you calculate the body surface area, which is the ratio is here. For example, if the patient is 81 kilogram and the head is 179 centimeter, then the body surface area is 2 meters square, so we multiply 2 on each. So 75 times 2, it is 150, and 500 times 2, it is 1,000. 
So this is after the calculation. So the when you see the calendar, the 5th of April, the Friday, we start the cycle 1, day 1, and we put after the calculating the dose, Pemetrax said 1000 mg and Cisplatin 150 mg. And we are using a uh, dexamethasone as well. So dexamethasone is used for 5 continuous days in the one cycle 21 days. And we repeat the same 5 continuous days on the next cycle which is cycle 2 to prevent nausea and vomiting because it works as anti Dexamethasone can have interaction with other medicines, for example, diabetes patient taking metformin. Since dexamethasone reduces the power of metformin, the metformin dose should be increased, for example, from 1 gram to 2 gram after chemo. Dexamethasone duration should be written accurately in the prescription, so check it seriously. It is just for 5 days per cycle, not for the whole cycle, so this is very important. Also, the patient should rinse the mouth with the alcohol-free mouthwash since there is a risk of oral mucositis. As you can see, dexamethasone is only for 5 days per cycle. When do we reduce the dose? First of all, when the neutrophil count is less. We should do the blood test of patient and check the neutrophil count. If the patient's neutrophil count is too low, for example 0 0.4, then the chemo should be delayed until recovery. So for the normal person, it is over 1. So if neutrophil is from 0 0.5 to 1, then delay the treatment until recovery. If it is less than 0 0.5, then delay the treatment until recovery and reduce the cisplatin plus pemetrexate dose by 25% on the next cycle. The second case to reduce the dose is when the patient is having the renal impairment, uh, as known as kidney disease. So we check the creatine clearance. If it is over 70, then there is no modification. If it is from 50 to 70, then reduce cisplatin by 25%. If it is from 30 to 50, then reduce cisplatin and pemetrexate by 50%. If it is less than 30, then withhold the chemotherapy. How do we prevent the chemo-induced nausea and vomiting? For the antiemetic regimen for day one, we can use dexamethasone 12 mg, the ondansetron 8 mg IV and arepitent 165 mg orally. For the high vomiting risk, which has, can induce uh, more than 90% of cases, the IV chemo, we have a carmustine or cyclophosphamide or cyclophosphamide with anthracycline, the cisplatin, the carbazine, or streptozosine. As we check, the cisplatin is part of this regimen and it has the high vomiting risk. Who are more likely to undergo nausea and vomiting possibly? Um, female, the younger age people under 50 years old, the people who have the motion sickness, people who had a previous chemotherapy, the poor performance status, non-alcohol drinker or non-smokers. Because um, these alcohol drinkers and smokers have more tolerability because they are used to this. It can also act as uh, analgesics, but of course this is not a reason to start smoking, this is just saying. The general side effects of chemo is nausea and vomiting, so this is the main reason why the people cannot get the chemotherapy. So this is why people need the anti-emetic drugs like dexamethasone or ondansetron or aripitant. The other side effects include the taste and smell loss, hair loss, as you can see, the Mr. White from Breaking Bad doesn't have hair. This is because of chemo, mucocystis, and lower neutrophil. Because of these people who are on chemo have increased the risk of opportunistic infection. As you can see, these are the side effects. This is anti-neoplastic man, which shows the summarizes the side effects of all the other chemos. If you are interested, check it out.